Hello brothers and sisters, how y'all doing? I hope it's a good day for you. Happy Monday, Passover in Jerusalem. And um, this is Nathaniel, Rapture Watches for Jesus. Glad to be here. Guess what? We're another day closer and we're going home sometime soon. Like Brother Chris says, hang on to Jesus, you guys. He's all we got. We got him. We got the word. We got each other. All our brothers and sisters are waiting, watching, and um, keep looking up, you guys. Keep looking up because he's coming. He's not letting the enemy pluck us out of his hand. Every day that goes by, we are another day closer, and we got no reason to fear. Over 300 times in the Bible, it says, do not fear. Jesus is in here, right? Right? Uh, let me Let me say... I got some Bible scriptures here for y'all. Guys, today I handed out, me and my wife went into town, into St. Joe, Missouri at the bus stop. I got to hand out eight tracks to eight different people. The first one I handed out, the guy said to me, no, I don't need that. I said, are you sure? It's a way to know that you're going to heaven if you were to make it tomorrow. He said, I don't need it. So... The first one was a no, but the next seven people accepted it. The one that got me, I gave one to a guy. He said he was a Baptist pastor, okay? But he said he, he loved to do drugs, chase women, and stay out late. And I was like, wow. And I started to tell him, yeah, I used to have one foot in the world and one foot in the church, and he cut me off, changed the subject. Honestly, that was that broke my heart. But I got out, hey, I had a rapture dream last year, and Jesus is coming, so I got that much out. He's coming for his bride, and you cannot serve two masters. If I could have got that out to him, man... Because I used to think that, man, it's scary. Talk about a scary place to be where you've got one foot in, one foot over here, one foot loving the world, one foot loving Jesus Christ, thinking you're serving him. No. I could see why Jesus wouldn't like that and why he would spew you out of his mouth. And you know what's crazy, you guys? I guarantee some people think, I had someone on Facebook tell me, well, you weren't saved then. No, nah, I was, man. I was. I just, I had been so deceived and had been filling my head with so much distractions and uh, on a really bad medication and also smoking marijuana on top of it. I'm sorry, but it just for me, no drunkards, no drunkards or uh, someone that likes to get high, uh uh. I read the scripture, man. Fornicators, drunkards, that scares me. It scares me now, you know. And that's something I used to be ever since I was 13. But marijuana, all that stuff, man, it's too much. Too much for me. And that's why I told you guys when I tried to go back to marijuana, I thought, well, you know, maybe I could get off my Suboxone and I could go back to that. Uh-uh. I started having nightmares every time and it was the way the holy spirit was telling me don't you dare don't you dare nathaniel don't you dare go back don't you dare go back to the way you were i brought you this far and you cannot turn back now and i wouldn't turn my back on jesus for anything so we have to be careful you know we have to be sober be vigilant like it says in timothy because he the devil wants us to be asleep he wants us to crawl onto the bed or take a whole bunch of pills, smoke a lot of weed, do a lot of drugs, fornicate with women. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, me and my my uh, wife, I call her my wife because to me she is my wife. We've been wanting to get married and we're not married. We've been together for three years and I've had opportunity after opportunity and I think kind of she was a little scared. But 
there's certain things we won't do a lot of sexual things I'm just telling you right now and then whenever we try to I got convicted so hard conviction conviction and she doesn't want to either now because she knows until we get married you know and God gives me the strength man and I found that reading the Bible and he always provides a way out now if we have time to get married and we do then we're gonna we're going to and she wants to but take it from somebody you know my dad was telling me he's like man Austin my original name he's like you need to wait you need to wait at least three years we've been together for three years and if we have time we're going to we're gonna get married we got baptized in the church might even get married in the church I don't know might be God's plan but all I know is I'm not going to let anything steer me away from Jesus Christ. I'm not going to quench the Holy Spirit inside of me. Praise you, Father God and Jesus. Praise you. So, I'm boasting on my, um, my, uh, my, my shortcomings, I guess you want to call it. I'm not perfect, you guys. You guys know this. I have fallen many times, but I have a reverence, fear of the Lord inside of me. But I have a trust and faith. I'm not walking around, oh my God, God's going to, you know, He's going to spank me. He's going to kill me. No, because I'm a child of God, Nathaniel. New name written on the stone in heaven in the book of life. Confirmation after confirmation. So I just wanted to share that with you all. And, um,. I am going to go live again, guys. It's probably going to be, I don't know if I said this to you, weather and low. And I, I know you're getting ready to move and everything. And, and I ask all you family to pray for him, for our brother, weather and low, uh, that they find a good place, a nice, safe place to be able to go to. Just talking to you face to face here, brother. We love you and we're praying for you. But going live, okay. Um, I think the 30th, if not the 30th, at the latest, maybe the 1st or the 2nd of next month, provided we're here, <laughs> I will go live. And uh, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to talk and we're going to pray, okay? We're going to pray and talk. And I think that will be good for us. We need to pray for each other and keep doing that, okay? So I just wanted to let you know that. Let me read some Bible scriptures here. Um, here we go. Okay. Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy, enjoy abundant peace and security. Jeremiah 33 6. Man, you hear that peace and security. I think of what the government keeps saying. And like it says in the Bible, peace and security, peace. And the UN. The UN, you guys. I've been watching them. I still keep watching. I'm just watching everything. Israel, the UN, Russia, Ukraine. There's so much going on now, brothers and sisters. We got to keep hanging on to Jesus and trusting Him. We're going to pray at the end of this. Okay? Psalm 103, 2 through 3. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases praise you Jesus Christ thank you for another day praise the Lord okay that's one I just read Deuteronomy 32 through 39 see now that I myself am he there is no God besides me I put to death and I bring to life I have wounded and I will heal and no one can deliver out of my hand. That's us, brothers and sisters. We're in his hands. He ain't going to let us go. The enemy can't stand a chance. Let's do one more. Then you will, then your light will break forth like the down, and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard Isaiah 58 8 let me say that again then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear 
Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Praise God. Guys, I want to say real quick, I know we've talked about um, the three end time spirits. Antichrist spirit, Judas spirit, religious spirit, Jezebel spirit. I've just been dealing with one on Facebook. I literally scrolled down and uh, there was a picture of Jesus flipping, flipping us off. And somebody that doesn't believe Jesus is God. And who are those type of people? What does it say in the book of John? That's an antichrist spirit. If you don't believe Jesus is God in the flesh, yep. So what do you do in those situations? Well, I just call them out. I rebuke them in Jesus' name. That you have an antichrist spirit. I, said, I even told this guy, I said, why don't you come on to Nathaniel Rapture Watchers for Jesus, right? And we'll go live and we'll cast that out real quick in Jesus' mighty name. And guess what? I would. I'd never done a deliverance before, but you just ask the Holy Spirit and do it in faith to take over through Jesus Christ, and He will cast it out. There is power in the name of Jesus, and we can do all things through Jesus Christ, who strengthens us. There is power in His name. If you are struggling through something, I don't care what it is, and, you're, and your devil's going to tell you, hey, you did this, you did this, Jonathan, you did this, Rebecca, you did this. You are not worthy in the kingdom. Oh yeah, guess what, devil? I'm redeemed by Jesus' blood. I am saved. My sins are, are gone, wiped out, like as white as snow. And there's nothing you can do about it, no matter what. And you know what? We might fall 7,000 times, but we get up 7,000 more. And we are going to make it. We are going to make it. So if you fall, you get right back up. You get right back up. And you tell him, get under my feet, Satan. Get behind me. Get behind me. I am going to keep going. I am going to keep sharing the gospel. I am going to keep telling people Jesus is coming because he is. And I am not going to stop. And you cannot defeat me because Jesus defeated you on the cross. He said, it is finished. And it is finished. And we are going to come back after the rapture and we're going to be with Jesus. And we're, I will hold his robe. I will help. I will glory, glory is his name. Hallelujah. And we will be with him and he will defeat the devil permanently and all those naysayers. But guys, we've got to get people on the ark. We have got to get him saved. It could be just as much as saying, hey, Jesus loves you, brother. If you were to die today where do you know where you would go do you know where you would go let me tell you something my father god loves you so much that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall have eternal life jesus died on a cross and he rose from it the holy spirit our father rose him from the dead in three days and his blood was sinless we were all headed to hell and we deserve to be on that cross but he took our place he took our place and if you admit that you're a sinner and believe in your heart Jesus is Lord and he rose from the dead you are saved and the Holy Spirit's guiding me right now guys and it's a beautiful thing believe 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 admit that you're a sinner it says in the Bible and I gotta find out remember where it is but you can call on him in the last days and he will save you. He will redeem you. You'll be covered by the blood. You cannot lose your salvation. It doesn't even make sense that you could lose your salvation. Eternal life. And like I said, I told you guys a year and a half ago, I was watching the wrong people and I kept praying. He led me to the right ones, you guys. If you are a true seeker, true seeking out, he will show you. And I think I helped brought a person to the Lord last night, you guys. I don't no credit. It's none of me. It's all Holy Spirit that did it. But man, ah, praise God. Let's pray real quick. Father God, thank you so much for this beautiful day. We pray right now for peace in Israel and Jerusalem. We pray for all the Jews and all the lost to be saved. 
We pray for all the mockers and the scoffers, Lord. We pray that the scales are wiped off their eyes and the evil spirits will be casted out. We pray for everyone that's watching this video right now for healing, for comfort, for peace, for extra strength. We want to reach out and pray for all the watchmen and watchwomen. There's so many, Father God, and we know it's close. We know you're coming to get us. We believe in you, and we kept thy patience. We kept thy word, and we are still waiting. We are standing strong, and we're not going to stop standing every minute, every day, every second, every hour, every month, however long it takes. We trust in you. Thank you for your word, and thank you for growing our faith. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we praise you, and we pray all these things in Jesus' mighty name. I love you guys. We are another day closer, family. If anybody needs prayers, put them in the comments. I'm here. I love you all. Nathaniel, I'm out.